Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at converting dates that are coming in with an incorrect date format. For example, dates in the US are written differently to dates in Australia and in England. So I have here a document, it's a CSV file. It's come in from an Australian bank, but I'm living in the US here and so my Excel is set up for US data. So it's recognizing some of these dates, but not others and it's incorrectly recognizing them because what it's saying here is that this particular date is the 10th of August 2024. In actual fact in Australia it's the 8th of October. So we've got some problems with these dates just in terms of how they're being recognized here in the United States and these ones just simply aren't being recognized because there is no 15th month. So if you get a file like this, a CSV file, you're going to have to do something with these dates. So here's what I suggest you do. And we're actually going to format these as Australian dates because they are Australian dates. So I'm going to select this particular column that is potentially got all my date data in it. Now, the fact that I've only got a few rows is neither here nor there. This would work on a really large piece of data. So I'm just selecting it. I'm going over here to the data tab in Excel and I'm going to text to column. Now this is a feature for parsing text, for converting text into columns in Excel. What we're going to do is assume that this is text and we're going to convert it into correct date format. So we're just going to select delimited here because we've only got this one column selected. Click on next. It doesn't matter how this data is delimited because it's not delimited. So we're just going to skip past this. It's this step three that is important to us because this gives us the ability to say that these dates are not month, day, year because that's the default. So let's click on date here and let's select day, month, year. And then we're just going to click finish. And the data in this column is now re-parsed, it's restructured to be the correct date and it's actually showing because I live in the United States in US date format. Of course we can put it back in Australian date format by going to the home tab, everything is still selected here, going to the number option here, I'm going to date and if you're working across countries the smartest thing to do is to use a date format like this where the month is spelled out because then you're never going to make a mistake. So I'm just selecting that option here and clicking OK. And as you can see, here are the months, October and September, and here are the days. And we can go now and sort this data because we've actually got numbers here that are correct. So I'm selecting all my data here. I'm going to sort and filter. I'm just going to sort it from oldest to newest. And here is the data. All the dates are correctly realigning themselves. All the data is being correctly sorted. So when you have data coming in from overseas in a date format that doesn't match the date format you're using, whether you're using month, day, year or day, month, year, you can use this data text to columns option to change your data around so that it is properly structured, saving you from having to retype everything in. And I think that's a good thing. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.